Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm looking pretty regular regular right now, nothing too special. And my hair, you know, my curls have been flourishing lately since I've been using um, some different products, the OK Pure Natural products. Um, but I, I'm kind of tired of the curls today. I want to do something more slick and sleek. So I'm going to do my A Pimp Named Slick Back tutorial. I call it that because it's slick back. And you know, Pimp Named Slick Back from the Boondocks. Anyway, so that's what I call this look. And it's super simple and it only uses a couple of products. So the first thing is water, some conditioner. And then you're also gonna need your handy dandy eco styler gel. And you're gonna need a lot of this, like a lot. I mean, maybe not if like your hair is a little bit shorter than mine. Mine's about this long. And if it's a little bit thinner, then you won't need as much. If your hair is thicker, you're gonna need lots of this. Then I have a like two ended comb brush thing. It's like a paddle brush on this side and a regular brush on this side, but it's like pretty hard bristles. And I found that this is what works really, really well to get it really slick down having harder bristles makes it a lot easier for your hair to lay down and having this on the other side also makes it easier because then you don't really have to go back and forth between two or three different combs so you can comb down your hair first with this and then brush it down with this and I'm going to show you that and then a comb as well and I have found that this combination works best for my hair especially using this conditioner because I have found that when I've used different conditioners like the Cantu which I really like but then when it comes into contact with this with the eco styler and the amount that I put on it tends to give it like a flaky look and you can kind of see like the white spots and it seems to like congeal kind of and separate from the gel so and it also leaves my hair feeling very very rough not moisturized at all it just feels like there's just a lot of product on top of my hair and nothing's really soaked in but I have found that this one works a lot better for me so find a conditioner that works best for you. It may take a couple of tries to find the right one that works well with the other products that you're using. But you know, trial and error, and either way, it's gonna look fine. I mean, really only you're gonna notice it, it doesn't work together. So to start off, get to take off my glasses because it's gonna get messy. And I'm going to wet my hair, and you don't want it too wet because if it gets too wet, then the curls will pop through and it's not gonna lay down flat and it's gonna make it a lot harder for the style to keep, and it's also gonna take a lot longer for it to dry. And then I'm just gonna put in a little bit of the conditioner. And this is just to give a coat on the hair, add some moisture, instead of just putting the gel right on top, because if you do that, it's just gonna dry your hair out, and it's gonna be a hot mess, and it's gonna be crunchy and nasty. Don't do it. And I'm just gonna comb out, well, brush out, my hair with the paddle side just roughly try and get any tangles out so now I'm gonna find my part and I think I'm just gonna do it on the side So now that I have my part, I'm gonna go across the top of my head, like this. So all the hair is gonna go this way, but then all the hair in the back is going to be brushed back. So now for the eco styler part, just go and get a big old glob. And I'm gonna start on the smaller sections of my hair, like the thinner sections closer to the front and the back because I find that working on the thinner sections first, it makes it a lot easier to get the thicker sections to lay down. All right, so now I've got the amount of gel I need. I'm gonna brush it down with the paddle side. and then I'm gonna brush it with the brush side. All right, so I'm gonna get a closer shot so that y'all can see that again on this side. Well, that is mighty close, hello.
comb it with the paddle brush side and then brush it. So once everything is in place, and you see how it's like sticking down? Right now it's not really moving. Um, if I had done it with wet or hair, the curls would have already been like bloop, 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 you know, popping up, and it would have been like trying to peek through. But since I didn't have my hair as wet, the curls are nowhere to be seen. This would also be the time to lay down your edges if you wanted to. I don't really have any edges, so I can't really do that stuff. Anyway, but if you were blessed with edges, go ahead and lay those babies down. And now that it's all set up the way I want, I'm just going to take a little scarf that I got for like $4 at Walmart. It's like an infinity scarf, but I use it as a hair wrap because why not? Gently and skillfully, intentionally place it on your head right where you want it. So I want it to stop. I want the scarf to stop right here. So that's where I'm going to aim for it to go. And the reason why I like to aim for it and lay it down intentionally one time is because if you keep moving it around, the hair underneath is going to get all disturbed, it's going to get frizzy, it's going to start to curl up, it's not going to be slicked down, and that's the whole purpose of the style. So once you have it where you want it, I just like, I personally like to tie mine in the back, you can tie it however you want, and I just make a tight little twist. And I like it very, very tight. That way it kind of squeezes out all the moisture, it dries faster, and also it keeps everything in place. And then I just wrap it around. And that's it. Now you just wait for it to dry. It's gonna take about an hour for me probably because I wanna make sure that it's completely, completely dry. If it's not completely dry, you're gonna go out and you're gonna think that you fly, and then you're gonna get to a mirror, and then you're gonna see like your hair just going every which way because it was not dry when you took off the scarf. You don't want that. So I'll see y'all in about an hour. All right, so it's been like two hours actually because I did my makeup and I filmed a tutorial. So if you wanna see this look, click in the description box below to find the link. I And since I did my makeup, I kinda of messed it up a little bit, you know, trying to blend and everything. It gets really aggressive when I try to blend, you know. So I'm gonna to have to fix this. But for the rest of the hair, it's all set. Boom! Gonna use a little bit more of the Eco Styler. And you see how it's not flaky? That's what I love. And that is it. This will last a couple days if I don't touch it a lot and if I wrap it really tightly at night. So it'll last probably two to three days for me and then just wash it out with conditioner, co-wash, whatever. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna see this makeup look, once again, please click click the link in the description box and stay tuned for some more videos. Bye.